I just wanted to spend some time explaining a distributor and getting familiar with it. Uh, some of you uh, may play with them and uh, this might help you understand what a distributor does. But the uh, purpose of a distributor is to fire the coil. The coil in order to be fired you need a hot wire to one side of the coil and ground to the other side. That builds up a field. And then when you break that circuit, you open that circuit, the field collapses and sh shoots the high voltage uh, spark to the spark plug. And the purpose of the distributor is to break that circuit and make that circuit. It makes it to charge the coil, it breaks it to discharge the coil, and then send that high voltage spike to the right spark plug at the right time. Now, with your engine, your crankshaft, your piston is hooked to the crankshaft, the crankshaft is connected to the camshaft, the camshaft has a gear that operates down deep in the engine and that turns your distributor. It also goes down and turns your oil pump. But there's a gear down there tied to the camshaft so it's all mechanically tied together and your job to time it is to, after you set the points, is to make sure the right spark plug fires at the right time. Now I show here the one-piece shaft. Some uh, people use this. This is the uh, distributor for the two-piece shaft. It's a loose piece here that just drops in the head of the car, head of the engine. Now you have that wire coming from the coil on the passenger side and it has to be made, that circuit has to be made and then broken, made and broken. Now the way that coil is energized, these points close and that grounds that wire on the passenger side of the coil. And then when the points open, it fires it. And then the distributor tells it where to go at the right moment. So now we've got to get that wire from the passenger side of the coil into the distributor so the distributor can do its work. And the way Henry set it up, He had an armored cable coming from that um, side of the coil. Now it goes from the coil up to the ignition switch and back down to that cable and that, that big screw in thing that screws into the side of the distributor. What that does, that takes the, uh, that circuit and touches the member inside there. And what is inside there? is this. It's the lower plate and this guy touches that. So now we have that circuit, that wire from the coil to this part, but this part doesn't touch anything else. This is the lower plate that's attached to the base of the uh, distributor. So that's all grounded. This isn't grounded. Now if you have a um, a simple um, ohm meter continuity tester. You can touch that piece and this piece, and they're not. They, they are not. There's no communication electrically between those two. If I touch that and I touch the part, you can see I now I have uh, continuity between the two probes. So now is connected to the passenger side of the coil. Then it goes through to our famous little black wire and that can't touch anything and that is so you can adjust your spark and that wire then has to travel up through the upper plate which is also grounded and then that goes through the points to the movable point arm right here. Now if I put some paper between there and check continuity, I can go all the way down to this point 
and then go up to the arm and you see it's it has continuity all the way to the arm now and when the points close that grounds that circuit charges the, it, the coil when the points open the, co the coil fires the high voltage so when you walk up to your your car and look at your distributor and if you have the points open and the key on you can prop that open with a popsicle stick or a piece of paper or anything or your finger but that arm has to be uh, hot the power goes to the coil from the coil to the ignition switch down through all of this and up to that arm and you should be able to take your test light and touch that part with the points open and a key on and to ground and if the light lights that whole circuit is good and uh, you don't have to start questioning your uh, uh, any shorts in there the little black wire that's underneath here now I mentioned the test light you really have to have one of these I keep making them and give them to people but you take a light bulb 6 or 12 volt anything that will light up you solder a wire to the uh, side and a, to the other terminal on the bulb and you simply hook a wire to, to that and a couple of alligator clips and you can put this on ground and this on your movable arm the key on and the points open and if it's hot you're pretty golden it's uh, not not a problem I did want to show a, a little a little trick when you're putting your cap on you drop it on and you attach these springs if you push here you gotta push real hard if you simply push in the center whoops if you simply push in the center it goes it, that makes it get a little bit longer and it snaps right in so next time you're putting your cap on just press in the middle of this and it'll go right on I'll show you where that lower plate goes on this is the lower plate and it's held on with two screws two screws there then the spring goes on then the upper plate goes on and you hope you don't let that little black wire touch any uh, anything that will cut it or anything and then you put this guy on and then oh and, the, and then the cam goes on and you time it and uh, you're off and running now remember if your car was running and all of a sudden it stops don't go changing your timing or checking it or resetting it timing doesn't change if that screw is tight timing doesn't change so one more thing the uh, distributor has two bushings in it an upper and a lower and the upper has this side force on it from the point arm pushing it to one side and Henry didn't do a great job of lubing that upper bushing so it it wallows out and fails and then your engine will hunt a little bit now you put the oil in here and that mostly gets down to the lower bushing but the upper bushing is what needs it and a lot of the guys have done this they take this top screw I'll see if see that they drill a hole in it and then they drill a hole in the shaft and then they drill a cross hole in the shaft that meets so you can drop some oil in here it runs down into the shaft out of the shaft and lubes that upper uh, bushing you can also buy the uh, uh, parts from Snyder also that's a popular thing a lot of people have done these two distributors for some reason uh, had it so if you do find something wrong, just uh, chase it down and, and fix it. 
if it's an open circuit, look at everything that has a uh, that might be a wire broken or disconnected, and uh, and if it's a short, look for what wire is touching ground because you know where the circuit goes to, and just uh, chase it down and fix it. You don't have to do a lot of changing parts; just fix what's wrong with it. Hope this explains a few things to you. Distribute is a pretty important part of the car, especially when they say that 90% of all fuel problems are ignition. So this is where you want to look. The other thing you can do, you can take a separate distributor, drop it in your, uh, put it on your engine, time it, and then take it out and put it in your trunk. And that baby is timed for if you ever need it for your engine. It's not timed for anybody else's engine. So I hope this helps.